Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rusky Dugan. Wait, let me just get rid of this little window. There we go. Okay, so, um... Last night, I was doing some trialing with the England guys. Um... And, yeah. So we did two maps. We did a bad water and we did a steel. And I felt I absolutely stank on the bad water and then totally rocked the steel. So this is like... This is like your shit sandwich. Although this is maybe more shit on toast. And that we're having some badness where it's going to be painful for me and then I get to look at something where I do well um yeah I'd say just as a thing of getting better at heavy um looking over your bad demos will is painful but it gets you better faster just because if you did stuff right you'll look through and be like ah yes I remember killing that guy when I was good um but if you got stuff wrong you can look through and be like ah that's what happened so um sandwich went down next to the dispenser because when he jumps uh, I want my medics standing on that sandwich I always ask my medics where they're going to stand they never know where they're going to stand they say oh I'm going to stand here I put a sandwich there and they never stand where they said they were going to like I could have put the sandwich under his feet under his feet right now. So what I'm doing is I'm staying back, looking for jumpers, because, you know, there's a jumper. Yeah, yeah, get dead, get dead. That was good. I enjoyed that. Um, another jumper taken care of. I, I think one thing I did bad there was, um, once you kill one jumper, there's always going to be another. Don't stop firing. Um, with the new heavy changes, which I honestly don't think are that big, Hmm, I'm not entirely sure I like me being front here. Yeah, I think this is an overplay. It was because people were going in for their med, and I thought it was around there, and I don't quite escape. I don't necessarily think it was bad. It was probably a bit over-eager, though. I, I thought other people were going to commit a bit more from looking at what we were doing. Oh, well. I'm not so ready. Do we lose this point this game? Maybe, maybe. There's a medic dying. That's always a very sad thing. So, yeah. Um... Again here, I didn't quite get the gist of what the team was doing, because I was like, okay, we have a chance to cover second. So I was getting on comms and being like, wait, are we covering second or are we going for third? Because I, I get quite far up here and I turn around, yeah, yeah, look at that. Because, like, there's only a scout on roof. Now, if they're going to go roof immediately, I don't want to be up there as heavy, right? Because I'm going to get dead. I don't want to stand here in the sniper sight line, so now I start chilling on the corner. Um, yeah, I guess people are still spawning. At this point, I think we need to pull back, like... Third is just the biggest hold on this map. Like, compared to how you hold second, it's it's just ludicrous. But people want to go back in, so I'm back in. I'm like, I'm not so sure about this. At this point, we definitely need to pull that. I don't know. I don't know why we're still in. Third is such a better hold than second. Leaving any players here is just madness. In my opinion, there are different ways of playing things, and yeah. Um, but yeah, sneaky sandwich. Okay, so, I mean, at this point, I'm trying to help my sniper. He can do a lot of work on this map, so I'm trying to cover him. Like I said, yeah, I, I think we lost a load of people there. I think we should have, like, just... I mean, I think we stabilised quite nicely in the third, but, yeah, we don't have enough people up out here. I don't know. I just to be over here. Clutch, look at that, look at that. I didn't think I was going to survive either, but I got away with it, who knows. Um, again though, like, I don't, I just don't know where our damage classes are, they should have spawned by now. And I just don't know where they are, I'm confused. Sad rescue dude is confused. Oh, there's a demo in there, that's good. I also noticed that all my audio has been coming out of only one channel. I've ordered a doohickey and actually hope it's it, but we shall see. So yeah, aggressive hold, um, but again, like, we need the pyro with us if we're going to hold here. So normally Danny gets to the right and, you know, can cover the left building really nicely. Yeah, this is going well. This is going well. Getting a little bit frisky there, but, you know, pull it back in, pull it back in. No, they, they can't. They're putting damage up there. Now, the heavy's alone in here. I, I don't want to pick him up, but, um... Yeah, we don't... We, oh, yeah, the order came to pull back. In fact, if they have advantage, then that's a very good call, I think. I can't actually remember from the and then he gets stabbed, which is sad. Because I thought there was people behind me. But there's not, there's no one on the corner. Like, where did everyone go? I don't even understand. But yeah, this is, um, probably just me not having good awareness, or like, the comms not running smoothly or something, but... Yeah, I was just very, very confused for a lot of this one. Okay, so we're back in. Um, dropping down here and taking the damage. A little unstylish. If I was... Being super squish, maybe we would have tried to alter the spawn tips. Okay, at this point, demo just went down. Uh, you can't hold on ramp. Like, people need to get back and not be fighting on ramp. You need to give them the space. 
and like try and wait for spawns to happen. Um, yeah, I, like if I was the NG, I would have like got out and gone round much earlier because there's no way we can defend that here, no way at all. And now it's just me and Mad, and yeah, this is just going to go horribly, horribly badly. Dodgy tracking on my part. That is me fucking up. But yeah, we were trying to like defend too far forwards with where yeah the enemy were and such. We just didn't have enough people up to do that. Um. So yeah. Um, respawn, I think I go to great pretty quickly to have a shifty at what stickies might be going down various places. No, no, I'm just wandering around. Just wandering around. I should have time. Damon hasn't made it there yet. Yeah, just look at the fucking great rusty dude. Go to the great and look to see if this sticky's going up. Maybe someone's saying something really interesting on comms. I hope so, because this is paining me. I should be... Yes, yes, look out of the great. I don't think there's been time for stickies to go down. In fact, there's totally been time for stickies to go down, man, I suck. Um, but it depends if their demo was completely on board. I think it turns out that their demo hadn't put stickies down. So, um, what I was doing here is, the way that I reckon you want to attack this point is, basically, do jumpers, do people going on cliff, do spy doing the sap, but just try and time everything. Because if you all go in at once, then it works. And if you're going separately, then you just die, because... Um, okay, so if jumpers go in while heavy hits from the front cliff, Either the demo is going to be looking at the jumpers or looking at the heavy. And whichever one he's looking at, he can't be looking at the other, which is kind of big. Some spam, whatever. Don't scout, make him run back, whatever. Still on big health, doesn't matter. Okay, so, but then we hear the jumpers have gone in and we're not in position at all. So I was just like, well, I can't do anything now because the jumpers, like... What you want to happen is you want to be like attacking or like going around the bottom while the jumpers are going in. So, you know, I'm tying up demo and heavy here, just waiting for the next wave because with heavy there's not a whole lot of point going on right. You really can't make any progress. So you're just waiting for some space to be made up here and like just try and keep things busy for the rest of your team. Okay, now damage is going in so I'm thinking, okay, let's let's see what we can make happen here. And the damage button way too weak now. Essentially, with these pushes, we're just not doing it as a team, which is, yeah. Like, um, oh yeah, so I was, I was thinking about how to attack Bad Water first here, and if they get their medic out the way into the shelter, um, I reckon you just want to take the Uber straight out top left and use the Uber while they don't have a medic there to get in all the damage you can. Okay, once again, people are just in, so I'm going to try and do what I can here. There's a heavy place. Probably going to die here, I don't think. I'm going to lose damage, so I have to pull back. Oh no, I've got a medic, I'm going to do Let's kill some stuff. Yeah. No fuck, that's fine. At this point, yeah, he's doing pyro, so I need to get out. I, I honestly think, um, I, I don't like the pyro coming in there. Because if the pyro stayed back, I have a much bigger damage output. I get the solo uber, I get to do a lot more work. The fact that the pyro came in and, like, split the uber, I just, I had to back off. And I was like, um, oh, sad rush you do. Um... But yeah, like, because at that range, the Pyro just doesn't have much. He might as well be... You know, he's got a shotgun. Like, <laughs> come on. Um, yeah, at this point, I think we're pretty much taking top. Yep, yeah, pick heavy, that's nice. And always check the teddies. Always check the teddies. Because there's always a fucking teddy. Um, okay, so now we should be getting forward to this corner. Um, yeah, energy and scout can push cart. I'd, I'd be tempted to get the scout forward and just leave the energy on cart here, just because... Um, if you can beef them here, then, yeah. yeah. Although, yeah, soldier on cart, that's, that's sad. So, um, in dinging that sniper there, essentially I was just, um, creating more targets for him. Like, if the soldier's combating him, I can collect more sniper damage than he can if it's not a direct headshot. We've heard call that heavy above us, I'm just going to pick him up and work out where he is. Again, at this point, I'm just airy control. I want to keep people off that corner. The demo's up top, he's not actually doing that much, and I'm okay with that. I just want to keep people away from this corner so they can't take the space, so the demo's isolated up there. 
still got to keep looking for spies. There's something in that window. I don't know what. I just want the cart to get up here. I want the rest of my team to get up here so that we can get this third point before they get established. Because this third point is hideous. It's the biggest hole in this map by so far. This point, getting a little bit wary down there. I think I get to the cart. Yep. Good for us to do. I'm going to get stabbed. It's sad. And yeah, again, like, the, the pyro was there. So I was like... Uh, I, I'm okay, right? I should be shooting at the corner. And then, you know, eh, who knows. Mission ends in 60 seconds. This is the second half of the round. This is us pushing after we've done defense, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh well. I'll do this one and then do the other one. I've clearly done stuff in the wrong order. I don't know why it's been divided into two files. Who knows? See, so we have one point here, so I don't... What's going on with this? I don't know. We'll play that. So yeah, I think we need aggressive because we have 35 seconds. Go ahead. That's nice. Good work, friendly. Love your work. Love your work. Oh yeah, I'm pushing in now and I've got fuck all now. And yeah, so I'm going to have to stay on the cart for a bit. Um, medical thing, we've got stuff over there. No spies around. Those rockets going to hurt. Nah, I really fucking love arrows. Uh, I'm going up top right to try and make something happen here. Because you don't want to stand quite as heavy. And yeah, it makes me happy and I get heavy in there. That's pretty fucking sweet. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, there's, we don't have enough people in, so that's that. Do you know what? I didn't find that as offensive as I might have done. That's something. So I see we must have defended first on this one. Set a bad time and then... I think there's a missing round at the beginning here. But anyway, we're, def we're defending now. Um, so that's nice. Oh yeah, did we play through this map twice? I've got no idea. Absolutely no idea. Doesn't really matter. I'll just talk to you what we've got here. In fact, maybe I'll go back and do the first round in a disconnected way. Yeah, we're clearly doing ABBA. So I've started on the first B, so what you're seeing here is BBA. And maybe I'll do the A afterwards. In spawn conga. You see, do you see that decision making? I was like, but I want a conga, but I need to look out the door. Conga, door. Conga, it's tough man, in heavy. It's these kind of like split second decisions between looking out the door and doing a conga, which define a premiership heavy, I feel. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I've just changed the groove. That's what that looks like. This fire is really pissing me off. Shall I fix it? No, I can't be asked. This is a shonky production, what can I say? I, I figure as long as I get the ideas across, then, uh, yeah. I, no, I also just found out that, um,. Because of the way I've got my mic set up, everyone I've been talking to in game, and I think on Mumble as well, will have been hearing me only in their left ear. I, I can't believe that people haven't been whinging about this for a long period of time. But yeah, I've ordered the cable, which will hopefully fit that. So again, what we should be doing is we should be timing a attack with everyone. So for some reason, I get paranoid about this spy here. Just never know. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a headshot. But he took it for me. I've got to, you know, respect him taking it for the team. Okay, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to wait for the call that we are going in. Get to put in some damage there, but... Oh, yeah, I think jumpers went in before I got there again. I was like, oh, check it. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting. There's a debate as to be whether I should be looking around this corner. Because if you look around in a... Okay, I just saw a demo go in, so now I'm putting damage on this heavy. Yeah, it's a good bit of damage, right? So what can I get done here? There's demo. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna good damage though. That, this is my consolation that I got in good damage. And, you know, getting in good damage should be alright. Like, if other people could make something happen. Good work by Granger. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, call was to go up right side. Um, not normally where I like to go as a heavy. I've brewed a bit too far here. I'm gonna take damage and get my first. That's double my. But they've been kind of forced down. Yeah, I, I... You see, I think if I was on the left right now, I, I just think about all the work I could be doing and getting into position and such, but I'm kind of stuck behind this rock and... Yeah. That's coffee you're hearing, by the way. Mm, lovely. Fresh filter coffee. Um, okay, man. I'm growing. I'm probably going to go right side just to get stuff as fast as possible. Yeah, I normally go up left, but I think this is a time critical thing. Oh, it's fine. Okay, he's dead. Um, I presume we're going to hit front to see what we can get done here. I tried to get the soldier's attention so that um, our spy can do something. Okay, at this point we've got enough people to focus the guns in front. I think he's playing this rather badly. Like, he didn't get the wrangle on that. Like, the amount of damage it was doing wasn't that much. Um, 
He should have got the Wrangle on, been run back shooting it with his um, healing shotgun. Wrangler? No. The Rescue Ranger, that's the one. But yeah, that fair indeed screwed up, so we'll, we'll take it. Um, at this point, we know the gun's down, so um, I call him going front stairs just to clear out roof a little bit. I see a heavy there. Yes, delicious damage on the heavy. He's lost that. Um, at this point, they're going to have to run because we're not splitting this. Good, so we should be able to get something done here. Oh, man, no. Love it, love it. Down here, I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Like, seriously, what was that? He got stabbed from the roof, presumably. Um, mm, yeah, yeah. I don't beat myself too up about that, you know. You're going to get stabbed. You can't not get stabbed. I do get stabbed too much, though. I feel... My two main flaws are heavy, are getting stabbed too much, um, and probably getting on tilt a little bit. Like, um, I remember when we were playing this, because um, some people weren't like doing what I expected them to do, I got a bit like, oh, yeah, rubble, 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 and that's actually really bad. Like, you should always just be playing solid. You see a sniper dot on the left there, so I don't want to go too far. I just want to keep on the chart and, Whoosh. yeah, I went too far. Hey, you got a star, wicked. Um, so at this point, yeah, like, um, we've got stuff, like, I don't understand why we weren't putting damage in on that corner. I thought, like, just any shots and we will be able to kill stuff. But yeah, who knows. I think, oh, this is what, yeah, this round we set a really good time getting to third. And then we really got horribly, like, stuck pushing forth. Yeah, looking at him, he's shot. Good man, good man. Now I know he's not as far. Yeah, I think this was like, this was a load of people who haven't played before and we hadn't really got a good angle on um, pushing as a team. Like, yeah, I, yeah, again, it turns out there's only a couple of us here and I'm like, where oh, is everyone else? I'm very confused sometimes. Um, but actually no, this is enough to hold it and stuff. I guess, are other people in? Maybe I'd know if I was listening to Carlos. Yeah, no. I think I just was on my own there. I'm not sure if that was me being a chump or people being in. Who knows? I think that may be me being a chump there. Hmm. Who knows? Um, okay, so we're back in. So what we want to do right now is build and control this area. We don't want to let them control this area because there's no reason to. Um, but yeah, I think we all just seem to be holding a bit far back. Like, we should, we should own this area. Unless they've got advantage. Maybe they've got advantage. That would be a reason why we were holding that. Yeah. Demo went trash there. I know he's back to school. Because in... What I'm normally doing is I'm just waiting for that sniper to be down. If the sniper's the right. Oh yeah, Cole has gone for the push-in, but there's a sniper top right. And I'm like... Like, the scout needs to get over there on that sniper. Like, if I'm, if I'm here... And, oh, this is bad. Yeah. Well, I didn't get sniped. That's something. I was very kind of, yeah. Who's the nice little sniper? Yes. I think, hmm. Do I think it's better to have minis around the back of trash or like maybe get up a level three to really secure that front area? I guess a level three, if you have that front area secured, it means that if they want to make plays there, they have to you know, commit an amazing age way. Okay, so I think that Danny's in, so I kind of need to commit here. Um, I should be able to get the heavy hand in the way, that's right. I'll get that. Okay, you can see. Moderate save. Yeah, got away with it. Oh yeah, now, I don't like going mat room. If the sentry's close, you can drop down dry to do it. But we've seen the sentry's long there. Um, and the call went that we had to go out a mat room window, and I'm like, well, the call's happened, like, so I'm gonna do it. And I went out, and yeah, suffice to say, it didn't go brilliantly. We managed to get out the window, which is a start. Pyro comes in immediately, getting good down. You get to pop out of them, that's nice. But yeah, there's, 
If the gun's like long like that, I reckon, you know, going from trash is just much better. Because you can just like Uber and drop down onto it and the gun is just gone and even the pyro, like he doesn't, if you drop down right next to the railing, the pyro can't displace you from killing the gun. So the gun is guaranteed to go down and you've got a really good escape route. Like whenever you drop into last with an Uber, you want, yeah, Delhi's hot. Um, that was probably my bad. Um, when you drop into last with an Uber, um, you want your escape route. If you go from, because we, well, I mean, assume, you have to assume you're not going to wipe everyone out. If you wipe everyone out, that's great, not a problem, but you have to be thinking, okay, if I just get a couple of frags with this Uber, what is plan B? What's my follow-up to this? Yeah, again, this is just me getting, this is when I was frustrated, and that was a stupid death. That's the one that I'm like, ugh. You, you knew, you went in with your Groove damage on Rusky. That's, that's a schoolboy error. Schoolboy. Um, what was I saying about dropping last? Yeah, you want your backup plan of where you go. I think I heard there was a soldier up top, so I'm coming this way to try and pick him up. Ah, no, Jenny's there, that's cool. That means we can start walking. Oh no, hey, there is a soldier here, look at Get dead soldier. Lovely. Let's have a sandwich. Um, yeah, dropping into last, you want your backup plan. If you go out of map room, then your escape plan is either go to the ramp, which I think is a bit passive, or go up what we call an SNSD, which is back in the day. That's where SNSD was with. They came out of map room, put in the damage on the gun under either one of the overhangs, and they went up to the enemy's top right hand spawn, which is a lovely tactic. At this point, yeah. Oh no, there's a gun on the floor. That's the board. The board. Um, what I like about dropping in from the uh, side by trash is that you've got the spiral to go up into, and the spiral is just, it's a playground for a heavy. I love being in there. You can get so much work done. Um, you've got a great escape route. You can keep retreating with the height advantage and such. That's probably taking way too much damage. Yeah, we shouldn't be getting pushed back this far. We should be able to take space, but like, we just need to get people together as a team. I assume our demo is down now because we're getting this down for them. In fact, with the soldier up there, I probably need to get the fuck out of here. They're coming back a little. Oh, I think I got lucky. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. They have a snipe. But, you know, our sniper was there, so. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's just like we're lacking cohesion, the glue to hold us together as a good Highland team, etc., etc. I'm, I'm just, I'm like, are you really? Yeah, he is. But we're in, we're in, let's do something. Okay, sniper on the floor. That's kind of good and bad. The cart needs moving, there's no one to do it, so I'm gonna do it. There's like no point getting in and getting frags if there's no one pushing the cart. You need that stuff there. Huh, Snow's using the um, classic. That's intriguing. I like coming from here, I think this is good. What we do need though while we're doing this is we need pressure on the front as well. Like, if we had a soldier at the front or anyone at the front, then I could, you know, make plays on that demo. But because we've all gone trash, it's like he can just hold me out forever, essentially. And yeah, sniper top right means uh, until something happens with that, can't do much. But we're in, so you know, once someone's in, you can hit. Yeah, here we get the pop. Um, we're going to get far away, so I'm like, I think we need to get out at this point, yeah. Because, yeah, we just don't have any range classes to get the gun. Do I get the gun in here? I hope I do, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, so at this point, I'm weak. Am I going to go for a sandwich here? No, there's an air. You. Am I going to go for the gun again? Yes, we got the gun. Sweet. So we got the gun. Holding up tops one a little bit. And then, we make stuff happen. Is this the first we have to go? Oh no, Scout kills me in Spiral. That's, yeah. Yeah, these things happen. This looks like a pretty plausible push for me. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this right here. Yeah, so, um, oh, one thing that you didn't see here, which I definitely got wrong, was on one of those pushes, I think we had Uber, and I was kind of too aggressive on that. I didn't like that at all. Um, but without cons, you can't really know which one that is. Um, so yeah, our defensive. Um, so yeah, I, I was talking a bit about um, the um, high panda hole, which is having your medic in the overhang down below. I think there's a hard counter to that. I think if the medic is down below, I think what the attacking team wants to do is 
hit the top really hard with Uber straight out of spawn. Because if they don't have an Uber and you've got an Uber, like you take it up the cliff, the heavy drops down and stands on the rock, which completely denies the pyro. Um, at that point, Demo can take either the rest of the Uber or get Uber to that point and just go in and just wreck. And I don't see how the gun can stay up under the, those circumstances. And they get an Uber, but they're only going to get their Uber once a load of people have died. So I think the high hand hold of like being in the overhang with the medic, I think that works against the current meta. But if teams are more adaptive and change like compared, like if they know that's going to happen, there's this tactic of just going gung ho at the top. So what I'm doing now is because of the spin up damage time, I've noticed there's a dispenser in quite a nice position. So. I don't need to stop firing here. I know this sounds horribly moody standing on the dispense from firing, but in this case, looking for jumpers, I think that's the thing to do. But um, yeah, we don't have our demo on front cliff, so I'm like, uh. Yeah, get that demo. Um, so I'm as well. Again, I stopped firing after the first jumper. That's bad. That's a habit I need to get out of. Like, if I've got a dispenser there, the first jumper, right after that, there's going to be a second jumper. So let's not fuck around. Okay, the only reason I'm like playing here is because I know that we have um, presence by the arrow. Well, I mean, it's to the far left where right? you can get sniped from very easily. Um, in again. He's gonna die. Yeah, no problem. Right. What I should say is I'm not coming down on our pyro for this match. Like that, that kind of happens, but yeah. Um, it depends, like, I, hmm. I guess that's the difference between, like, you know, the really ultimate pyros, is that they get in the offensive damage, but they still don't, um, like, slack off on the defense. Like, this is what I noticed playing with people like um, Steve and Candle, that they actually play very aggressively, but they kind of play off the combo, and they're always aware of, like, you know, the spy times, like, when it's likely that spies are going to be in and stuff. So I think, yeah, the reason I'm playing on the left here, oh god, the sniper, no, don't stand here, Rusty. Um, it's because, yeah, that gun's going down, we need to pull back at this point. Yeah, there we go. They just had too much presence, and yeah. So we're heading roof. But this this looks plausible, right? This looks like a kind of decent roof hole. Um, yeah, I think I call I call Aldi back, so he'll just be front, which is always nice. Um, then, yep, Pyro gets here, so at that point I kind of changed to being a little bit front, a little bit back. So wait, do we have stickies in the... Yeah, like, okay, so here, I, I, for my money, I like to see the demo sticking up the front stairs, because it just completely denies the front stairs. Like, if you have demo with stickies there, like, they can't have any purchase, like, yeah, so... I'm, I'm calling it Hildreth, I think, I think you should have had stickies on front. You don't need to be looking at cart, other people can do cart. Additional time. But this is cool, we've got an engine on third, and like I said, third is the big hole here. Oh, well, they're kind of in. If they've got Uber, I think they might have Uber. This, yeah, this could be bad. Rusky, grew, grew Rusky. Why aren't you growing? Why aren't I growing? Oh, because it's been called run four. That's a good reason not to grow. And they've just popped. Okay, so now they've popped. It's either back to spawn or. I think I saw they pop, but they're nodding around. Okay, it's very dodgy being here without a demo. And yeah, I died for it. I got myself a heavy, but yeah. Don't be on that ramp without a demo to splash support. And I think that's a great example of why you don't want to be on that ramp without splash support. But, yeah. It, you know, I got the heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Although, yeah, to be fair, if you're on defense, like trading heavy for heavy, mm, it's not brilliant. Although, I mean, they have more walking time, so, yeah. This NG, this is good food, this is like, then take the piss on, get that. So, yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of holding things down back here, because, in fact, our demo's gone forward, so, yeah, we've got to go forward and be aggressive. Like, we just don't seem to have that many people up right now. We have demo on ramp, which is good, which means I can play here and such. The spy in, so that's good. We've still got demo here, so I'm still playing on ramp, I think. Wait, no, demo's gone back, back, back. There's a soldier, that's good. All good, all good. Um, yeah, a good example just then of like how little heavy is affected by the current nurse. It's like a little bit behind. Now I thought I had demo with me, and then I turn around and I, like, yeah, I don't. 
Which was just, like, yeah. Is there? Maybe he's reloading. See, this is what I mean about, like, not connecting well. It's like, um, you need to know when your demo is, like, likely to be reloading and such. Okay, so they've gone an Uber. There's no point in going out there and getting shot. Although, I think the cart's near enough now that I have to make something happen. Get a demo from my phone? Scout for him, anyway. Yeah, at this point, he's nothing to do, essentially. GG. Well played. Um... Is that it now? Are we playing again? Or was this the first round? No, we're talking about having a step in that round. Okay, I think I think we're done with this. I'm going to stop recording. And I'm probably going to go and do the first, the A of the ABBA there. Okay, cool.